Okay. Oh, there we are. Good, good. Okay, thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Uh, yes? Okay, I start to introducing the PIDIC 5 Golden Principle. This is the PIDIC uh, guidance, go, 5 Golden Principle. Yeah. The first is the duties, rights, obligation, rules, and responsibilities of the contract participants must be generally as implied in the general condition and appropriate to requirements of the project. This is the most important point. We should first choose the which one is the contract match with our project. Yeah, this is the first one. Because sometimes in the very difficult project, tunneling project, for example, they use the silver book. So it's impossible because so many things will happen. And the second is the particular condition must be drafted clearly and ambiguously. This is also very important because the problem caused by the particular condition, which is drafting in not in a good way. Yeah. For example, most of the, the particular condition only mention that a provision of the disease is deleted and replaced by the pieces by the word not used or deleted. It is not good things. Three. Three is the particular condition again mm -hmm. must not change the balance risk or reward allocation provided for in the general conditions of contract. It is easy. No, no need to explain. Number three. Number four. All time periods specified in the contract for contract participant to perform their obligation must be of reasonable duration. So I give example there that uh, requiring the contractor to give notice of an event, for example, of or a circumstance that might give rise to claim, usually in the fitting condition of contract mentioned 28 days after the contractor became aware or should have become aware, then in this case, the owner only gives uh, five days. So this is not allowed. Okay. Number five, unless there is a conflict with the governing law of the contract, all form of dispute must be referred to a dispute avoidance and adjudication board. This is good. So the following modification to the condition of contract, usually the owner deleted the clause about DAB or DP because they thought that why should they spend money before something happened? They should understand that this is a kind of insurance that I will explain later. So this is the five golden principles of the condition of contract that the con owner and the contractor should follow. Then it will reduce the possibility of uh, disputes later on. In line with its golden principle, FIDIC comments on mem member uh, of the construction community to particularly keep in mind that FIDIC First, promotes cooperation and trust between contracting parties. Second is discourage adversarial attitudes. This is very important. Because if we come to the court, for example, it will establish the adversarial relationship. And that is not good. Yeah. Number three is encourage timely and decade payment in accordance with the contract to maintain cash flow. This is the most important thing. So the owner should pay to the contractors in time. This is this is the spirit of the condition of contract actually. Next. Now we come to FIDIC guidance memorandum. Next. There is a very long, but I will not read one by one. You can get this one. Next. Yeah. Okay. Not again. Yeah. As it has been emphasized in this guidance memorandum. A significant range of FIDIC contractual provision are relevant and considered in the current COVID-19 pandemic situation is this one. People always directly try to come to force majeure or exceptional events. While actually, why I put this in the red color, because when uh, force majeure is chosen or announced, there will be a problem. If the decision made not by the holistic study. Because if only contractor usually only think that if 
there is a force majeure, and then they have right to claim, not on the extension of time, but also the some compensation. But it is actually not true. Because in case of force majeure, that is not because of employer mistakes or contractor mistakes. So the only key compensation could be given, guaranteed could be given is on the EOT, extension of time. While about the compensation, the money matters is, it is another thing. It, that, that's why I don't like this force measure condition. Fortunately, in Indonesia, even like the situation, one of the sectors from the 11 sectors that uh, with the motto that the show must go on is the construction activities. The construction must go on in Indonesia. And government already, already state that this is not post majeure. Yeah. With some calculation why it's not for majeure, later on we can discuss. And then another clause is, is R, one is the health and safety clauses, clause. Yeah. Health and safety clause is the clause that most of, of us do not read it. It is people do not want to read this one. This is in Bahasa Indonesia and Indonesian language is so-called the Keselamatan and Kesehatan Kerja. And nobody read it. While actually there is many, many important regulation an important point that we can discuss within the owner and the contractors. And then the clause on change in laws. Nobody also pay attention on this clause. Yeah. This is very important because uh, the contractor and the owner should watch day to day about the changing of the regulation. Because this situation, this COVID-19 situation, is a dynamic situation in the regulation. For example, today government issued a lockdown, for example, as India, in India, and then they change again, they open again, in Spain, for example. So law is changed, and then please. And the, the third is delay caused by the authorities. If government issue a regulation, for example, to ban the import, importation of material or something, then there is a clause related with that. And another clause is a variation. This is very important. So the contractor and the owner should discuss about this together. Yeah. And then unforeseeable shortage in personnel and then the supply chain. This is, it will happen. So that's why I, we suggest, FIDIC suggests that please read everything carefully. And then the claims and dispute, particular dispute avoidance provision. We suggest that, we did suggest use the dispute for. Fortunately, in Indonesia, we already have it in the law. At the end of, uh, at early 2017, before FIDIC issued the DAAB, Indonesia issued already the Dewan Sengketa. Dewan Sengketa is similar with DAAB. In Indonesia, we use this one because we believe that this is matched with the Eastern way of thinking. And the light, the, uh, you can see this one in green, that is the EOT. EOT is uh, the only one things, the only one kind of compensation that the owner can give it to the contractor. Next. This is a uh, just for you, this is the five principles to avoid dispute in this uh, uncertain condition. One, the parties have to read the contract carefully, but both the substance and or the wording. Because wording also very important. In, in Indonesian case, I tried to collect about 11 contracts. And in that 11 contract, the definition of Post majeure is different. So it means you should read the contract case by case, contract by contract. And the second, the parties are reminded to timely comply with all their communication obligation, not limited to formal meeting and notices. 
the contractors who have good meeting, good collaboration with the owner, because they should start with the thing, uh, start to think that in this case, employer is not enemy, but they should work together, because the impact, the worst impact, is not only to the contractors but also the employer. And the three, the third, the parties have to prepare the contemporary record. Record is very important that most of the contractors neglect this one. Once I ask them, okay, sir, for the daily report, record, have you make, when you make it? Okay, sir, I make the daily record monthly. This is very nice answer, yeah. They do not understand the importance of the record, the contemporary record. And number four, the parties have to follow the dynamic changes in the law and regulation, as I said before. And number five, last but not least, PT contract holds unique, fully fledged dispute avoidance features on a live and real-time basis, that is the dispute boards. This is a, 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 the dispute resolution. Most of the dispute resolution before will brought to the litigation, to the court. A court based on the civil code and sometimes criminal code. And then a uh, little bit, and then slowly, slowly change to the arbitration. At the beginning, arbitration is very popular. Yeah, and in Indonesia also we have the law for the dispute resolution and also some related law. But now uh, we have in our new laws, number two, 2017, that the dispute resolution stages, this is stages, not choices. Stages is first mediation, second, Conciliation. Conciliation and the third arbitration. And there is mentioned also in some cases, mediation and conciliation could be changed, could be replaced by dispute board. This is very good. We have the dispute board in the law already. So now we start, uh, as Omoto san said, we already use the dispute board in most of all the projects not only for the project funded by the uh, banks, but also then by the national budget, we use the tissue board. And then uh, very good understanding we develop in Indonesia that if we go to the court on arbitration, so the adversarial relationship will establish and people become enemy. But using the dispute board, everything will go smoothly, and there is an evidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the most important thing is the as the RBF motto in the logo of the RBF. You can see fostering common sense dispute resolution. Yeah, but uh, of course we should base. I try to make this uh, study uh, to the. Uh, this is a questionnaire distributed to the to the attendance of the Madrid conference because before the RBF 2017, what is the requirement of the people? What is the criteria? Why people go to the dispute resolution agency or dispute, how, why they chose the dispute resolution method? And we can see here from the employer side, the first is legal certainty. And the second is time. The third is the cost. And the fourth is good relationship. But from the contractor side, the first is good relationship. Time is the second. And money is the second. The third is time. And the fourth is legal certainty. You can see this is in the contrary. The opinion of the contractor side and the employer side. And then uh, we try to, how to say, to fulfill the needs. Uh, we conduct also some study again. Uh, in the DRBF conference 2017, DRBF conference 2018 in Indonesia also, and then the DRBF 2020 is the latest. But the result cannot be uh, discussed here because the time is very limited. 
that I just want to convey the very important sentence from the RBF that is the fostering the common sense dispute resolution. Yeah, this is a challenge why uh, about the use of pity condition in Asia because this is the main causal factors of dispute. First, the threat is mutilated contract for the benefit of the employer. Many, many mutilated contract. Yeah, but we have the opportunity, fortunately, that is the using use the use of fiddy condition is mandatory. And the strength for the DAB, there is an Eastern way of thinking now established, the, the avoidance. This is as suggested by the by Mr. Gordon James, yeah, my teacher. He said, use the Eastern way of thinking on solving the disputes. And that the weakness is a lack of knowledge on spirit and substance of dispute world, as Omoto san said. And this is the stakeholder perspective. Employer always think, okay, we have to modify the condition of contract for our benefit. So they change everything. They delete, for example, they delete the clause on variation and they delete clause on unforeseen. That is very, very funny and it's unbelievable. And it, it is create, instead of solve the pro solving the problem, it creates a new problem. And then uh, from the engineer, I'm sorry to the engineer, they must act as a technical advisor, not a construction contract manager. Yeah. And they act as employer agent than the real engineer. I'm very sorry about this. And then the contractor, most of the contractor is hard worker in technical works than the real contractors. Yeah. And then they always try to take the X for the war by submitting claims, sometimes un reasonable claim. FIDIC start with the action to conduct the dissemination to change the mindset of stakeholder. Thank you very much. This is my presentation. I do hope that we can again make a discussion after this. Thank you very much indeed.